Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 41 of my Subnautica Let's Play. We need to check in one of these. I need an aluminium oxide crystal. Oops, no, I don't want that. I want to go on here. We've got all the bits, except for the pressure compensator, which we've got to actually get out of the prawn suit. Damn it. Uh, let's get it out. Thank you. But thank you guys and girls for all the support on the videos. It has been incredible. We just hit 400 subs, which is amazing. Let's build this MK3 pressure compensator module. Oh, shit. Let's go put it in. This will put it up to what, like, uh, 15 or 1700 or something? Oops. I do it every time. Without fail. 1700 meters! You, sir, are a baby. I also um, added, made the aquarium bigger by a little bit, just one thing. Um, but by doing so, I ended up flooding my base partly, which I fixed, but that was an experience. I learned that I have to reinforce a lot more things than what I had been, so the base is a bit more reinforced now. So we shouldn't have problems for now and that with the base flooding by the time we get home or something like that, you know. Right, let's put him up in here. We need to make sure we've got food. Looks like we've got plenty of food. If we just eat a bunch of this. I took way too many. Warning. Blood oh. loss detected. Ate too many too fast. Made myself, gave myself stomach cramps. Uh, how much water have we got on us? Any really? Because I'd like to make sure I've got water. Okay, we got two. I'd like four? Four maybe to feel safe so we can have at least two in our inventory when we get to the lava zone, which is the plan for today. Uh, did my knife break? Hello? One, five. No, I don't want to use that one. I want to use this one. Ah, oh, shit. I always do that. I always break my Ming plant. We can eat a couple of those. Uh, okay, that's nowhere near done. Alright. Put this in the bioreactor. Like, this bioreactor and that is cool, but it's very annoying to continuously have to fill up, so I don't know how long it's going to stay. Because, like, that water purifier thing just flows through the juice so fast. Uh, we've got a couple of these. I guess we don't have normal coral samples. By the way, I put this on, an S on my SSD, and I also deleted one of the batch files that I needed to, so some stuff may spawn back in, but oh well. The frame rate frame weight. The frame rate was getting ridiculous. Like, just just stupid. Stupidly bad. So hopefully I've alleviated some of the problem for now. Alright, this is going to break this. There it goes. It's done. That knife is done as heel. Alright, and whoop. Beautiful parking job. Very elegant. Alright, let's make... If I can do stuff. Alright, so I'm going to make some water. And then we're going to head over to the lava area. So I will meet you guys and girls over there. Because otherwise this whole episode is just going to be me travelling to that one place. Okay, I also just made a light tank to take with us. Thank you Joshua for the suggestion. Alright, so now we're going to make our way over to the lava area. And I will join you guys and girls back when we get over there. Okay, guys and girls. So, big mistake. I brought the Cyclops down here, forgetting the fact that I can't actually go down in the lava area with it because I don't have the upgrade. And I'm not going all the way back now just to get the upgrade. 
So huge oversight on my part. So if we die, I'm going to be pissed, but it's my own fault, really, for being stupid and not f considering this shit. Alright, we are in the lava zone. We can now go down to up to 1700 in the prawn suit. So we should be good in terms of that. Depth is no issue. I think 1700's the max uh, depth in the game, which is probably in this zone, I would imagine. So, we should be fine on that. I just really wish I could have gotten the Cyclops down here, because if anything happened, I could have bailed into the indestructible force that is the Cyclops. Rather than having my shit pushed in using the prawn suit. Hopefully, we will be fine. This is the hope, anyway. If not, the next episode is going to be me regathering a bunch of shit. So I can try it again. That's just the reality. Oh, let's push in. Damn warpers are a worry. What was that and where is it? Oh, you can fuck right off. That's what you can do. That sounds pretty loud. Oh, holy f fuck me. Can I just stand on this object, please? There is definitely something big. Where is it? Right there. You see that shit? Oh, fuck. Fuck me! Uh-oh. Oh, this is not good. Holy shit, it's huge! Hmm. I wonder... That must be the, uh, the dragon that I had talked about in my comment section. I wonder if it's only the one that spawns in this whole area. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Because I imagine if I piss him off, he will absolutely push my shit in in a number of seconds. I mean, the Reaper... Oh, fuck. Can I? Oh, God. I would be glad if this thing would 
fuck off my screen. Get off. Get off. Should be able to beat it against a rock. I'm gonna have to get out and fucking kill it, aren't I? Asshole. God damn it. Yeah, that thing is pretty big. I'm trying to see it in amongst all the fog, but I don't see it again. be very careful in here. I would have felt so much safer bringing the Cyclops in here. I could have had a real good look because I know it wouldn't have killed me in the Cyclops, I don't think. Like I said, seeing as the Cyclops seems indestructible. Oh, there he is. Fuck me. He's up there just chilling. Now, this is, this is the thought. I have to, I have to have the Cyclops, I think, to somewhat safely explore this place without this guy messing my shit up wherever he's gone. You know how I'm talking about, the, the massive dragon. So, I think I should go back, get a bunch of lithium, and make a bunch of the plasteel ingots, so I can then get the Cyclops upgrade and bring the Cyclops down here so I can really scope out this area without the risk of getting my shit pushed in by this massive sea dragon. I think that would be the best course of action in my personal opinion because otherwise he's probably gonna fuck me up. Would be my guess. Like, if a Reaper can hurt me in this and do, what, like, say, 25 damage, that guy could probably hit me and do, like, 75 a hit. At least 75 a hit. You know? And I really don't want to get murdered. Oh, shit. Oh, good, he missed. I don't really want to get murdered by the massive sea dragon of doom. I should have thought this through, and I apologize for that, but I didn't think about it, about going and getting the damn lithium. If I had thought about it, I would have damn done it. But that's probably the only way we're going to survive and make any progress, because I think if we stay down here in the prawn suit and we get attacked by that guy, I'm going to die, and then I'm going to have to get all my shit all over again, which is just halting progress probably way too much because you know it's then I have to try and get down here and the prawn suit's probably going to be destroyed so I have to go back anyway and then come back down here and get the stuff together to make the pressure thing for the cyclops and then I have to make a whole new prawn suit and the pressure compensators and stuff for that. So it's a lot of progress that will just go out the damn window. So I think this is the best plan. We're going to go get lithium and titanium. Make a bunch of titanium ingots. Get a bunch of lithium so I can make the plasteel ingots. And then we're going to come back down here in the cyclops. And make some damn progress and see what this dragon's all about. And what this whole area is all about. But thank you guys and girls for watching. If you liked the video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. Thank you so much for 400 subscribers. That's awesome. The channel has been doing so well the last couple of months. I'm very proud of it. And I'm so happy that a lot of you enjoy it. So, thank you guys and girls for watching. And have a lovely day. Alright, peace.